the book of Ruth, chapter 4, Redeeming the Inheritance. Then went Boaz up to the gate, and sat him down there. And behold, the kinsman of whom Boaz spoke came by, unto whom he said, Ho, such a one, turn aside, sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. And he took ten men of the elders of the city, and said, Sit ye down here. And they sat down. And he said unto the kinsman, Naomi that is come again out of the country of Moab, selleth a parcel of land, which was our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise thee, saying, Buy it before the inhabitants, and before the elders of my people. If thou will redeem it, redeem it. But if thou will not redeem it, then tell me that I may know, for there is none to redeem it beside thee, and I am after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. Then said Boaz, What day thou buyest the field of the hand of Naomi, thou must buy it of Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of the dead, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance. And the kinsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mar mine own inheritance. Redeem thou my right to thyself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the matter in former time in Israel concerning redeeming and concerning changing. For to conform all things, a man plucked off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor. And this was a testimony in Israel. Therefore the kinsman said unto Boaz, Buy it for thee. So he drew off his shoe. And Boaz said unto the elders and unto all the people, we are witnesses this day that I have bought all that was Elimelech's and all that was Chilean's and Malon's of the hand of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of Malon, have I purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead be not cut off from among his brethren. And from the gate of his place, ye are witnesses to this day. And all the people that were in the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. And the Lord made the woman that is come in to thy house, like Rachel and like Leah, which too did build the house of Israel, and do thou worthily in Ephrata, and be famous in Bethlehem. And let thy house be like the house of Pharaoh's, and whom Tamar bare unto Judah of the seed of which the Lord shall give thee of this young woman, the birth of Obed. So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. And the woman said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord which hath not left thee this day without a kinsman that his name may be famous in Israel, and he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life and a nourisher of thine old age for thy daughter-in-law, which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons hath borne him. And Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom and became a nurse unto it. And the woman her neighbors gave it a name, saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed, he is the father of Jesse, the father of David, generations to David. Now these are the generations of Phares. Phares begat Hezron, Hezron begat Ram, and Ram begat Amimadab, and so Amimadab begat Nashon, and Nashon begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Bo, Bo as, and Boaz begat Obed, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David.